the collective work. What? I brought the venue. And you brought the meals. You know, that's how relationships should be. Teamwork. Bring whatever you can to the table. <laughs> and you want to bring two men, huh? <sighs> Ramsey, I am polyamorous. You know, I actually find that very abnormal. I know the society frowns at it. But don't you think the world would be less miserable if people were allowed to be themselves? <laughs> Toto. So what you're saying is everyone should just do what they like, you know? Just embrace your desires, get rid of the rules, and just do whatever you wanted. So if Fifth would steal the killer, could kill, and the girl can have as many men as she was attracted to, is that what you're saying? You see, Ramsey, mm. what I'm saying is that the more of our desires that we are permitted to connect with, the more conscious of ourselves we become. And the more peace we find within ourselves and everything else around us. The truth is, I am happy. Like, really happy. I like the idea of monogamy. Marriage and raising children. Trust me, I am not mentally deaf. And I know you are saying in your heart of heart that this lady here is abnormal. It's fine. I hear that a lot. <laughs> well, I honestly haven't met a woman like you. Or even one with your sexual orientation. Ramsey. The truth is, I really do like you. A lot. But I want to be kept a secret. It is either you or you find me. Or you forget this attraction between you and I. Hey, dear Marie. Hi. Still struggling with the block? Date yesterday with Ramsey made it worse. Did you at least get to discuss the app with me? Brenda, it's hard to find a man who would want to share his woman with another man, and a woman who would want to share her man with another woman. Cassie only accepted because we were already together before she came into the picture, so accepting the condition was her only option. She knew this. So why did you accept it? Because I want to be with you, obviously. And as for that David guy, I, I think he's with you because he has commitment issues. Are you 
saying I break up with both of you and become Ramsey's secret girlfriend? No, no, Malcolm, that's not possible. That's what I'm saying. As a matter of fact, I'm saying the exact opposite. I don't feel good about that Ramsey guy. There's just something a bit off about him and he's so dramatic. What I'm trying to say is, I think you should keep whatever you have with this Ramsey guy professional. I just don't like him for some reason. Yeah. Cassie, Tia and I were not expecting you. You're welcome anyway. I understand that somewhere in that critically twisted mindset of yours, you believe we're friends. But let me make this clear once and for all. Brenda, I am not your friend. I don't see girls like you, Ty. Girls that pretend that they don't need a man to be committed and loyal to them. Now, now from back, they go sneak Tiff person boyfriend, Maria. And me can tell you if now your plan with that, you know, go work. They hear me? You know, go work for well, me and my T day. Do you understand? And Brenda. I, in my normal senses, will never think that sharing my man with another woman is cool. So me and you know they do any poly nonsense. One more thing. The only way that this will end is by you staying far, far, far away from Toby! Someone is in their honeymoon. <clears throat> and is that why you didn't show face last night? I didn't want to show my face because I felt free as a crowd. Hmm. So, someone is meeting by their own rules now. Hell no. No freaky way. Smitten. Mm hmm. I'm rather worried about people getting smitten by my own rules. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not everyone understands polyamory. Well, whatever works for one. The question is, does it work for you? Um, it did sit well with me before. But I guess I love it really not to accept the rules. And I love you too. Always keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you for always reminding me of my worth. Liberi, I do not see the practicality of that app. I mean, if you don't want to go to the market, then send someone. But you'll be sending someone digitally. It's a waste of time. How so? <clears throat> when you want to go to the market, you make a list, right? Now, why don't you pick up your phone, go to the app, make a list of whatever it is you want to buy. 
bring in from condiments, bag of rice, whatever it says you want. The app will give you an estimate. And once you place your order, once you okay your order, an agent nearest to you will be selected to make the routes for you. Mm. And guess what? It will be delivered right to your doorstep. And trust me, right on time for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whichever one you're having. Wow, so it's, it, it's a very brilliant idea. I know. <laughs> but I just do not think it's, it, it's very useful. I mean, a lot of people will still go to the local market and local stores to buy what they want to buy. I beg to disagree. Um, oh, my angel is here. See how you woke up and brushed your body for without mm. even bothering up her mind. <laughs> you were sleeping, I, I, I didn't want to wake you. Breakfast and bed won't have been bad. I'm sorry, I will think of it next time. Do you want to have mine? Good morning, Brenda. <clears throat> Good morning, Brenda. <sighs> I want to have you. You're still not safe. Um, I'll go get the door. Hey, while you are it, let me pick up my phone upstairs. Um, come on. I'll go get my phone. <laughs> You didn't tell me you were coming. You're not happy to see me? Sarah, it's you! I am Cassandra Ojuku. I work with your company, Twin Cup. I am a junior executive. I was at Mr. Badumos' birthday last month and you were there too. Hmm. Okay, but I mean, you know that I'm not the chairman of Twin Corp, right? Yes, you own 80% of the company. Yeah, I know. I mean, i just a financial investor. I like to invest financially in businesses because I'm really not interested in the nitty gritty of uh, running a company. I like my freedom. As uh, we all love our freedom, just that some of us can't afford it. <laughs> it's okay. What do you say, Nimbus? Cassandra Ojuku, sir. Well, I'll put in a good word with my friend, Mr. Badamasi, right? <laughs> that would be lovely, Sasha. Thank you very much, sir. I will allow the both of you to. Mm. <laughs> Yes, I'll have them send them to you as soon as possible. Yes, thank you. Ramsin Namani is in your sitting room. Are you serious? Atlantic Bank of Nigeria is owned by the father. The family runs the biggest hotel in Nigeria. That guy is the freaking gods. <gasps> Tell me, are you into him already? Because you are tripping. I can see you're tripping. You know you're going to always talk to me. Do you like him? Namani is way out of my league. I can't even dream. Mm. One, he's very married. And secondly, I know we agreed that I can date older men, but I really don't want to. I just want you alone. She's going to tear her into Shrek's. I really don't care about what happens to that girl. Come on, don't be mean. Are you still going downstairs to eat? Me, I won't go. I don't want Mr. Ramsey to see me as busybody. He's somehow my boss and I don't want to lose my job. What? 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 Mr. Ramsey? Mr. Ramsey's your boss? You are mine. You are mine. Somebody else, 
Listen, I know you don't like me. I know. But I want to tell you that I am done crying for bullies. You are free, free to express your hatred to me, however you wish to. God, rest the show, right? I will let it cut deeper than a surface. <laughs> You're high. <laughs> I love alcohol. I love to drink. This, this makes me happy. Don't judge me, please. Don't judge me. Don't, don't judge me. Anyways, T said he won't talk to me except I render a sincere apology. I can't pretend I like you, but I really like T. I guess I have to say it's been his pet girlfriend. Uh, Cassie, you are not a spare. Okay? You don't need to make me feel better. I am not even trying to. The only reason T is with you is because he likes you. And he likes the freedom I give him. If you really want to have tea on a lockdown, don't make it hard for him to be with you. I heard you. So, can I tell him we're cool now? Of course. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Gus. B? Yes? How well do you know Brenda? I know she's an incredible woman. When I went into her room to apologize, she was high. Reminded me of the first time I met with her. She was high. I think she have some sort of alcohol addiction thing going on. Mm -mm. That's not true. The Brenda I know is like the most goal-oriented, coordinated and health conscious person I've ever met in my entire life. So I don't think that's true. Perfect people have demons too. So, are you trying to insinuate that Brenda's demon is alcohol addiction? I think her demons are 
whatever that makes her consume more alcohol than she should. I I know I have seen Brenda High a couple of times, but she seemed okay to me. She's eccentric. Someone is just jealous. I know I'm jealous, all right? But this has nothing to do with jealousy. I think she needs help. As in, okay, normally, how can a girl be dating three men at the same time? She needs help. She's a nutcase. No, Brenda might seem a bit off with her approach to relationships. But Brenda is a very intelligent and smart woman. She knows what she's doing. She takes proper care of herself. So just let her be okay. You're right. I don't know even why I'm bothering my head with someone that is grown up enough to take care of herself. Can drown my demons Cause I know how to swim Just when I think that it's over I hear my demon whisper You are mine Hi, team, good morning How are you? Very well, how was your life? Mm -hmm. And Cassie's as well. I love you too. Well, I think the alcohol is a little bit harsh. You might want to reduce it next time. Alcohol is the most interesting part of this cocktail. And the next cocktail I will be making. I'll be adding more whiskey, dark rum, and cognac. Mm. Wow. <laughs> anyway, this is the least okay. for the things we need in the house. I'll be sending you half of my own payment because I won't be going to the grocery store with you. You see why DG Mart is important. You don't have to go to the store. Delivery, I do not have a problem with going to the store. But hey, Digimart is a very brilliant idea. Finally! <laughs> hey. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Cassie. What is this? Well, we need for the house. 75k on drinks. Are you guys showing a party of who gets drunk first? Hmm. I like that game. How is it played? Oh, my bad. I didn't know you were being sarcastic. <laughs> anyway, the truth is, these drinks are expensive. Okay? And like I told you yesterday, I do alcohol a lot. I know you're judging me right now, but I really don't care. Babe, kindly let me know when you get an awards, okay? <laughs> Come here. is one man I know who loves to mind her business. Some other women like to thrive in other people's business, which is exactly what you do. So while women like you are busy fighting for a man's attention, women like her bask in men's attention. I think I'll be busting with my welcome. Rubbish. Oh, babe. Babe, wait. Babe. Babe, I'm sorry. I know it's not fair comparing you with Brenda. I I do not have any justifiable reason to do that. I'm sorry. But babe, can you for a moment pause to take away emotions from all of this and see that I'm just, I'm just trying to point out the qualities in this other woman. Qualities that I admire. 
qualities that you can possess if you want to strengthen what we share. But because clearly Brenda is not the problem, I'm the problem. So just stop taking out to walk in your head and, and just focus on us. Please, I'm, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, okay. Coming. Hey. Hi. Okay. You should have just knocked. Well, I wouldn't know if you were talking with a client. I don't work on Mondays. But they pay you every month. A big link me now. They pay me every Monday. Sit. <laughs> okay. But you're all linked up now. You're all linked up to those billionaires you represent. Oh, you think I'm not aware that they pay you some serious six figures. <laughs> Come here. You know, I've missed you. Missed you too. <laughs> so how is work? And why didn't you call me first? Okay. First of work was great and um, kind of rough patches, but you know how it is. Well, I didn't call because I didn't want you accusing me of falling for you. <laughs> it's not that bad. I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Shall we please go to the room? Very well then. I lead the way. Oh. Right behind you. You said you have an investor now, yeah? Oh yes. I met him online. He's already discussing with a dozen of smart people who work for him. Okay. Once they give their go ahead on the idea, he would have no option but to dole out the points. So, do you want me in? I mean, I can represent you, and of course, you know you don't have to pay me. I don't think I'll be needing a lawyer now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Besides, he, he seems genuine. Okay. By the way, where are you off to? <laughs> Tomorrow is Sunday, and I know you do not go to church. Okay. Are you in a way asking me to sleep over? See, you startled me. How is T? Is he back? He called. He's on his way. That's fine. You know, I had this friend when I was in school. She always cheats on her boyfriend, no matter how nice they are to her. Because 
she was a sex addict. And she never got satisfaction from one man. In other words, you, you think that I am a sex addict. <laughs> Sweetheart, listen. I can always get a man who would match my energy, if that's the case. You know, I think you need help. Uh, Sweetheart, we all need help. I am taking care of my demons. How about you? You are leaving my house to your husband's house today. My mother got married at the age of 13, so you won't be the first. You are lucky that even with five wives, Chief Solo paid attention to you. Do you think any man wants a troll like you? You are worthless, Brenda, and you will forever be worthless. People can change, people can learn and grow, if we decide, decide to face our fears, look in the eyes, look in the eyes of the demons, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing, people can change, people can learn and grow. If we decide, decide to face our fears, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. What are you doing? Somebody help. I need help from the Sorry, I woke you up. Somebody please. And, uh, what are you drinking on the way to the night? I can't sleep. Did it work? It's... <sighs> there is this voice that I do not know how to shut out. It's... It's been with me for the longest. Uh, is, it, is it a negative voice? tell me I respect that but how can I help this is all the help that I need
Ah, Chairman. I would have loved to shake you, but my hands are quite busy. Um, I'm guessing you are the lawyer guy, right? The name is David. Yeah, David. Pardon my manners, I'm just surprised to see a, a stranger in my kitchen. I mean, let this relationship with Brenda and um, it will be out of place to refer to me as another man. Yes, you're right. Just that Brenda doesn't usually allow her colleagues to spend the night. See, I... I know I agreed to do this polyamorous thing with Brenda. But the least thing I expected of her was to pick men who cannot control their emotions around other people. Yeah, you're right. I mean, if, if Brenda can be mature about this whole affair, then we shouldn't act like babies. I hope you know so. Guys. Nothing, we are we're here to have breakfast. I didn't make breakfast on Friday, but it's okay. It's okay, we can share what you made. David, we don't cook separately in this house. I know you are not aware of it, so it's not your fault. But can we at least share it? Please. Babe, I can make something for us. I want toast bread. I will make toast bread. I want this toast bread. Nonsense! Out of here. Very well then. Uh, I guess it will be enough for the three of us then. It will be enough for us. Isn't it? Blueberry. You said I get so emotional about this whole thing. Now see who can't keep their jealousy under wraps. thought law is about arguments and winnings. Why are you running off at the slightest argument? Brenda, you've made it crystal clear that I can have you. So why stick around for this drama? Are you breaking up with me? Is that what you want? David, why can't you say that I like you? I don't want to force you to be with me if you do not want to. I can't possibly force anything in my life. I just want to have what I can have and see how everything plays out for me in the end. Brenda, look, I'm not breaking up with you, okay? I just feel it's necessary I keep my distance from my life, but that's all. Oh, oh, oh Lord. David, how many times do I have to tell you that there is no competition? There is competition in life. Brenda, I just want to go have my fun. Seventy percent. Mm -hmm. While I get thirty. Yep. Well, I actually think I deserve seventy percent, considering the fact that I'm actually putting a lot of money and efforts into this particular project to bring it to life. Wow. 
Well, he deserves seventy percent. Have a kiss. Hmm. Tell her the truth, and I will give you more than a kiss. But come to think of it, she doesn't love you anymore, and you don't even love her as well. The feeling is mutual. Both of you don't even live together. What's the worst that can happen? Well, hello to you too. Neko. How are you? <laughs> well, I have a girlfriend. Well, unfortunately, my girlfriend does not mind me having an estranged wife. Well, now she knows. She just threatened me. I, um, I got that on my last trip to Venice. I was actually waiting for that opportunity to give it to me. This is, this is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Is no man has ever gifted me something this expensive and beautiful. Really? Oh, yes. But you have two boyfriends, though. And yes, they are sweet, thoughtful, and caring. But you see, we don't have the kind of relationship where they get to buy me things like this. I understand. I understand the reason. I mean, I'm sure they would be like, oh, why would I buy her something that's expensive when she's not mine? I totally do understand. Not like I care. I don't care. Besides, I hate to be anyone's responsibility. Let's see. Actually, not desperate when it comes to pursuing or chasing after things that I know would eventually be mine. But I want you, Brenda. I do. And I've always wanted you from the very first. now, after seeing you naked. He won't want me, if you know my past. Linda, your past is irrelevant to me. No, it is not irrelevant. My past is what formed the foundation of my present. But you once told me that you don't get your identity from your past. Perhaps I lied. It's okay, listen. 
I'm not defined or limited by my actions five seconds ago. I mean, it's just a part of me, not all of me. Okay? Listen, I'm constantly giving myself room to grow and connect with situations and events around me. Brenda, you should do the same. What if... What if my past is all of me? I'm scared to get what if my past is the real me? What if this woman you are attracted to is just a mask that I wear to hide it all? Listen, I love the mask. And I love the person wearing the mask. Because they know how to swim. Well, uh, hey, I'm going to South Africa, Cape Town, next weekend, and, uh, and I want you to come with me. What would that cost me? I need help from my demon. Somebody please come and save me. I hate how I feel right about now. I, I don't even know what to say. Maybe some other time, please. I, I hate how I feel right now. Um, I don't want to lose my head in this. Please, let's just take it slow. That's fine. Uh, if you insist. I guess I'll have to be on my way now. Oh. I will get in touch with my lawyers and legal team and they'll draft out uh, the necessary documents to set the ball rolling. All right. Thank you. You know, I'm kind of excited about this, though. It sort of reminds me Speaking of which, Somebody what's up between both of you? Oh, well, we are we're separated, but not legally. And you don't want the public to know about it. We don't want our business partners to You know, I'm more concerned about my So, both of you get to stay married? And for how long? For as long as I'm certain that she's not married. Pasta. No, babe, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to T. You're making pasta. And did I ever tell you that T makes the best meals ever? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you see why it is good to have a housemate? Because you get to eat 
free lunch, breakfast, and dinner, and tea just is like every other time for me. <laughs> All right, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, but seriously, babe, I am telling you the truth. Hey. See. Mm -hmm. What Here. a surprise! I, you've never served me breakfast in bed. Well, let's say I realized the mistake I made. I should have been more involved emotionally. And still doing well. Can I tell you the truth? You see, living with you, experiencing this thing that I experience with you is one of the best things that has ever happened to me. No, I am not kidding. You you took me in. You, 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 you made me a part of you. You defend me in so many ways that no one else has defended me, Aww. sweetheart. What else do you want to hear me say? <laughs> <laughs> and in you, I see a lifetime friend. A friend. Brenda, is, is that what you see when you look at me? Oh, here we go again. Well, T, we promised never to have this conversation. The promises are meant to be broken. Brenda, change is constant. T, I will not give up my independence for anyone or anything. I have lived a dependent life and you damaged me so much. You are not. Brenda, you're not damaged. I see because of the alcohol addiction. Yes. Cassie told me she she had seen you high a couple of times. And here yeah, I've also seen you elated for no reason a good number of times. And here yeah, I've also for no fine, reason fine, a good fine, number. I of time. I admit, I've been just a little bit friendly with alcohol, Fine, but I don't see it as a problem. I admit as a matter of fact, uh, I've been, it helps me live with myself. Sweetheart, that's an addiction. No, that is me trying to live. People have been whose memories are just a little filled bit. with colorful and beautiful data and information just that keep bit. them happy all day long. I've been, but for someone like me who has seen and heard the things that I have heard, I've been, I will go crazy. If I do not at least try to shut the voices out. I've been just a little bit. I've been just a little bit. Here, I've been here. Just a little bit. Drink.
Sweetheart, have you considered seeing a psychotherapist? Times I have been considered suicide. <laughs> no, that's not funny. I know. <laughs> the reason I fight my demons alone. He won't have to make you breakfast today. What is wrong with him? <laughs> this guy is so petty. <clears throat> Which guy? Oh, you have an early start today. Yes, we are starting a new project today. Oh, okay. Do you have a new admirer? An old admirer anyway, but he's trying to score a point. Ramsey. I've never called Cassie that man. Hmm. You like him? I like every man in my life. And of course you know what I'm talking about, but you are going to pretend as if you do not know what I'm talking about. I'll see you later. I need help from a demon, help. Somebody please come and save me, help. Yes, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing, help. Help. I need help from a demon, help. Somebody please come and save me, help. Yes, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing hell. People can change, people can learn and grow. If we decide, decide to face our feet. Look in the eyes, look in the eyes of the demon. Brenda, I thought you stopped drinking in the dark. Brenda, I told you to always come to my room anytime you can't sleep. How do you want to lose memories? How do I delete these tapes that won't stop playing in my head? I want you to picture the mind like, like nature, the forest, or better still, this living room. You know, I can't see everything in this living room at the same time. I can only see the ones I lay my eyes on at a time, and that is how our mind works. Everything we have been through in this life is here, creating the space in our head. What brings what to light is focus. Without focus, everything remains in the dark. Brenda, I think you're focusing on the wrong things. You think I made it this far by focusing on the wrong things? I just launched an app that is about to make history. I work and earn online. I, I am writing my first novel. But there are moments, moments that's when I'm not doing all of these things and I am forced to face all that I have buried 
And I have no clue, absolutely no clue on how to handle them. We all have our demons, but we have to learn to live with them. I can't keep living with these demons. If I keep living with these demons, I may never truly have a permanent place for another. This, this demons occupy a huge space in my heart that I would love to give to another. Is this about Ramsey? What makes you think so? Because I realize that lately you've been more concerned about being accepted. I care less about acceptance. I know my place. Where is your place? Alone in the dark. Drinking. And hiding from the rest of the world. But why then are you not happy in this dark where you claim you belong? sleep with every rich man in my circle. Exactly. You know, I used to think you have standards, but I just realized you are like every one of them. You do anything possible to get what you want. That's so dead. Brenda! Could you please calm down? I should calm down. Brenda, how did you get his number? No, tell me. How? Did you get his number? I went on your Facebook friend list. Mm. And I chatted with him. I knew it. I knew it! Does he know who you are? Does he know we know each other, Brenda? No. Now I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Now I see it! Brenda! No wonder you refused me to read you the last phase of the pitch. Before the last meeting, Brenda. David. <laughs> David, at first it was just the pitch and nothing more. The attraction came naturally. The attraction came naturally, Brenda. You know what? I wish you good luck, baby girl. Because you'll be needing all of it when his wife comes for you. David. So, what are you going to do? 